the uh, more recent um, events that come out is, is this film Fire and Babylon that's telling everyone about the 70s and 80s cricket which of course is um, giving everybody to remember what it was like to play in those days prior to helmets but where the aggression if you like came from in cricket uh, obviously the West Indies team of years gone by was a great side and they, they produce these fast bowlers um, and lessons there maybe for, for, for other countries to look at how they're playing cricket and what it means to play test cricket yeah, and it really highlighted we watched it be the night before we played the second test at Lords and it, all our boys you know the young the young guys asking the questions you know, who, who's Michael holding you know, and you think he's one of the legends of world cricket. You know, he he changed the face of, or helped change the face of cricket the way it was played. And you know, I think you look back at that movie and um, you know, the likes of Dennis Lilly and Jeff Thompson, you know, causing carnage where wherever they went. And everyone else stood up and said, "Well, hang on, that's the way they're playing. We've got to fight fire with fire." And you know, hence the the name Fire and Babylon. Um, and look, they, those guys, they went through things that. You know, we've never experienced as cricketers, um, and I know a lot of those those players who, who play the game, and they, they never mention it off the field. They never mention it in a dressing room situation. I played with, you know, Gordon Greenwich, uh, Richie Richardson, um, Ambrose Walsh, in a lashings dressing room. They never mention anything like that. They just talked about the goodness of cricket. Um, but to watch that, you, you, your respect level goes through the roof for those guys. What they had to put up with, um, what they understand, how you know the old colonials dealt with um, issues off the field um, they made people pay mate when they, they four guys behind 95 mile an hour and you know they they made a statement you know and I think that's a great thing that yes uh, teams that think they're the underdog they can come out and they can make a statement they can go hard as they want because if they are the underdog they've got nothing to lose you know they go hard as they want and they, they if they come out on top they find a formula that formula, you stick to it for as long as you can. And I think the amazing stat out of that movie was uh, for 15 years, Western has never lost a test series.